What is up, Trust Troop? It is Trust to Impress, and I am Biggity B A C K back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be straightening out this curly hair with no blow dryer, no flat irons, no hot curlers, none of that, honey. No direct heat and no heat damage. So if you are interested in seeing how I accomplish that, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out this video. So as you can see in the video, I have already gotten started with my Mayo Organics Moisturizing Shampoo. Now, I am so used to my moisture training routine that I just grabbed these products and went to work on my hair. However, I am going to switch up the products in just a second and I will tell you why. But while I am still shampooing with this Mayo Organics uh, Moisturizing Shampoo, I just want to let you guys know that it really only takes two pumps of this shampoo to get this beautiful lather like you guys can see. Um, and once again, if I'm doing my regular moisture training curl routine, that is the product that I will be using. And of course, I pre-pooed my hair. So my hair had a hot oil treatment on the scalp before I started and some overnight leave-in conditioner by my L Organic. So now I'm washing out that first shampoo and you can see that I swapped out for my Chi products. Reason being, we are doing a straight look. So when you are doing straight hair versus curly hair, you need to use different products. So this is the Chi Silk Infusion line. So I will try to make sure those products are down in the description box for you guys, but I'm not making any promises. I will show the products on close-ups throughout the video so that you guys can see them, pause, screenshot, whatever it is that you need to do. This is not a new line of products. These products are old. I mean, they're new to me. I've just purchased them. But if you would like to see me use them in another video, I used them in a previous straightening flat iron shebang type video and i'll link that down in the description box for you guys and there i'll talk a little bit more about the products and give you my review on the products next i'm using the conditioner from the chi keratin line as well this line works well for my hair when i am wearing a straight look therefore i am using these products while i'm doing a straight look okay so it would make no sense to use my ultra moisturizing products when i'm just about to drain all of the dryness the the goal of a straight look is to get the moisture out of your hair okay and when i did the conditioner i let it deep condition for a little while underneath the plastic cap and now i am rinsing that product completely out now at this point in hindsight i feel like this would have been a good place after this rinse out to add in the um chi silk infusion but i did not do that i only added the chi silk infusion leave-in conditioner that's what i'm spraying on my hair right now i'm sorry i did not show you guys a close-up of that product but it's just a spray on leave-in conditioner and then while my hair is still dripping wet i am just going to tie it up in a plastic cap as i prepare to go ahead and get my roller set underway and now it's, i'm pulling the plastic cap off the reason for that is you do not want to let your hair air dry at all i've seen people do roller sets before and they let their hair air dry um, because you want to cut down your dry time all you are doing is messing up your final product you want your hair to be soaking wet like drenched when you're rolling it on the rollers like right now my hair in this video is not even wet enough but i use a lot of setting lotion and i even spray extra water onto my hair so it's no big deal but just keep in mind you want your hair to be drenched soaking wet because that helps to make the hair more pliable it's going to do exactly what you need it to do and it's going to lie around that roller just like silk okay so you can see I'm starting off with this section of my hair that's kind of like more kinky. It's more of a 4C texture hair. And the parting is like the most difficult part. So of course this is in like a time lapse, but the parting takes some time and some patience. 
But what I do first is I just start out my parting just like any professional would um, using a magnetic roller set. And I make this section down the center of my head from front all the way to the nape of my neck that is slightly more narrow than the width of the rollers that I'm using. And I'm going to be using a combination of different sizes of rollers for this look, but mostly I'm going to be using the gray. The gray uh, magnetic rollers. And these are just hard rollers and they have holes in them for vent ventilation. And now I am soaking my hair in the Lotta Body Foaming Wrap Mousse. This is my favorite product for roller sets. If you watch my channel, you've checked out my flexi rod sets, you already know what's up. And then I use a wide tooth comb to start my detangling process. And now I'm using a Denman brush to continue my detangling process. And I'm working my way down to a fine tooth comb. You can see that I'm getting smaller and smaller and smaller with the detangling tool. And there's a reason for that. You want the hair to be as detangled as possible and you want the hair to be as smooth as possible. Notice I even added a little bit more of the foaming wrap mousse. You want this hair to be drenched with water and the foaming wrap mousse or whatever type of setting lotion you choose to use. I personally think that Lotta Body is the best, but you use what works for your hair texture. All hair textures are different. And then you guys can see that I really pull the hair down towards my face as far as I could get it and then I rolled backwards so let's watch this next section and you guys can see that I'm pulling the hair towards the front of my face so the hair is almost lying flat against my scalp now the reason for that and this section by the way is about the same width the same depth I guess you could say as the roller um, and the reason I'm doing this is so that the roller can sit taunt right on top of the roots of my hair so that's helping to flatten out my hair from the roots if I were to just pull the hair straight out from my head and roll down the, there would be a lot more puffy section at the root but in this way I have the roller sitting on top of my curly roots and then I'm clipping it into place so it does not have much room to curl up or frizz up now in that section you notice I just took down a couple of rollers and that was because my hair had fallen off the edge of the roller if your hair starts to come off the edge of the roller then that piece of hair is going to dry curly and we don't want that we want this to be as neat as possible so the main thing that I can encourage you guys to do the biggest tip that I can give you is to take your time and do all of these steps correctly I'm explaining everything to you if you need to save the video watch it over again do it sis I promise you you are going to love these results and now if your hair is a kinkier texture than mine, I cannot promise, you know, the same results, obviously. But if your hair is about the same as mine or even a looser curl pattern, you'll definitely get good results. The looser your curl pattern is, of course, the better results you're going to get with a straight styling. Duh, because you're closer to straight. Also notice on the front two pieces of my hair, I used a smaller roller. The purple is smaller than the gray. And that is just simply because um, I want my, it's, my hair right there is not necessarily shorter. It's actually longer, but I want my bang to have a little bit more curl to it. The gray is more so just big to stretch out my hair and get it dry as quickly as possible. Um, the purple is going to give me a little bit more curl. Another big part of this is actually choosing the correct roller size. So now at the back, I've gone back to purple and it's not because I want that section to be curlier, but it's because my hair is shorter. The way it's cut, my hair is shorter back there. So my hair is not going to fit around the gray roller the way it needs to to hold my ends tight so I have to go down to a smaller roller and then this very back section is even shorter so I'm having to go down yet another size and you go down to whatever size you need to um 
in order to get your hair done that was me celebrating just a little bit because once you get that middle section down your arms are tired and you are just going to feel like you just conquered the world because once you finish that part the rest is a breeze so now I'm moving on to the side section and on each side I do two rows of rollers going straight down and once again this hair pattern I just get from like professional beauticians professional stylists I guess this is what they learn in beauty school I don't know but I when I got my hair permed let's see I was getting my hair permed from the sixth grade all the way up to the well to my first year of college so that's quite a few years and I always just watched my stylist do my hair and I always watched my mom get her hair done and I just always took notes as to what was being done and this is how she always did her roller sets. And I've seen naturalistas do their roller sets in different patterns. Um, they might even roll the hair like basically so it'll fall into the style that they're trying to achieve. I've never done that. I've always done this exact same pattern that you see me now, whether I was relaxed, natural, tech slax, whatever the case may be. And that is because after you wrap your hair, everything is going to press out so smoothly and you are going to be able to part your hair wherever you want it to be parted and manipulate the hair from there. So you just do this kind of generic roller set and then after you do your wrapping process and you straighten the hair out a little bit more, then you can choose a middle part or a side part or whatever you want. Also down the middle row, I just wanted to point out that I rolled all of the hair going back away from my face. When I got to the front, I did not roll that hair towards the front of my face because you want your hair to fall almost like a curtain bang where it just kind of falls over your face and then it kind of swoops back and away from your face. So I curl everything going straight to the back down the center. And then on the sides, you can see that I'm rolling everything downward. So you can see I had to use a little bit of purple at the at the back yet again and a little bit of purple on the side simply because my hair is shorter in those areas y'all I have a um, I have an angled bob cut so it's shorter in the back and longer in the front and it's a little bit short on those little side sections and then from there I just kind of tried to make the opposite side of my head as symmetrical as possible to the first side of my head where I use the same amount of rollers the same sizes in the same places and so on and so forth and I am actually extremely curious to try this out again when I try this out the next time I think I'm going to use purple all the way through um, because my hair wasn't quite it was a little bit looser than I wanted it to be. It didn't have like that curl curl to it. I wanted it to have that curl like where it looked like I curled it with the flat iron. But I only got that look from the very front section. Like where you see I put those two purple rollers. That part curled to perfection. You guys are going to see in the end of the video. But the top and the middle... It didn't really give me exactly what I was looking for. But you know, it's all good. It still came out great, you guys. Especially to say that this was my first roller set um, on my new haircut. It was really my first roller set in a long time. As far as these magnetic rollers. But definitely my first on this cut. And as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I limited myself to uh, how often I can straighten my hair out. So I limited it to once per month. And this is definitely helping out with me avoiding my heat damage because I'm going to be drying this hair with indirect heat. So no flat irons, no blow dryers, no magic tricks, no nothing. You guys are seeing it all. Alright, so we finally got that last roller in and 
trust me, you guys will understand the celebration once you try this styling, especially if your hair is longer than mine. I sat under the hair dryer for one hour and a half to get my hair fully hard dry. And you see that I pull that roller out of the top section first. And the reason for that is you always want to check the thickest section of your hair when you get from under the hair dryer. If that is dry, the rest of it is dry. Now, tips on checking to make sure that your hair is dry. If the hair is not sticking to the roller, it's probably dry. If it doesn't feel damp, it's probably dry. If it's springy, like you see I'm pulling down on my hair on each section. If it bounces back up, it's dry. Now, if you pull it and it goes limp, no. Oh, no, ma'am. Roll it back up. Get back under the hair dryer. It's a disaster. Or if it sticks to your roller, disaster. So then from there, I just kind of rake through my hair with this raking comb. And I'm just trying to get a feel for, am I even going to like this before I waste my time wrapping it? And I think I am going to like it. So I'm going to add my Keratin Silk Infusion Serum at this time all the way throughout my hair. And I'm using my comb to split my hair down the middle even though i'm not wearing a middle part this is just how i wrap my hair i split it down the middle and i start wrapping around towards my right hand side that's easier because i'm right-handed and because this hair is curled it's going to naturally kind of cling and wrap around your head without falling so that's nice and I started off with a larger bristle brush. Now I'm using a smaller soft bristle brush just to make sure everything is super, super smooth, like as smooth as I can get it. And then I'm going to wrap the hair as tightly as I possibly can with some cling wrap, saran wrap. And you need some that's really, really clingy. And you get back under the hair dryer. I got back under there for 10 minutes. And now I am going to unwrap the hair now that part where you get back under the hair dryer with the saran wrap that's what really makes everything smooth and almost makes it look like you put a flat iron to it but of course we didn't and i'm using my bristle brush to kind of get my edges in place of course you can use edge control to lay your edges i like a more natural soft look um, for this hairstyle and then from there you just use your paddle brush and your raking comb to play around i will say this if you're going to try this style you need a paddle comb that's this square i mean the paddle brush that's the square brush that i use to wrap and you need the raking comb or a feathering comb um I don't know how you're going to do the style successfully without those two things and then here are the finished product ladies so super super easy this is what we used to call back in the day a roller wrap so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one make sure you tag me in your videos if you try out this look